Okay, so in the last video, we started making a resume in LaTeX, uh, and we started out with something that looks like this, where you just have different section dividers, and you have content in there. Um, and the whole point, that you know, the whole good thing about LaTeX is that you can give it uh, sort of content like this, and you can change everything about it later. Uh, so what we did is we added a bunch of commands at the beginning that change what our sections and subsections look like. Uh, so now we have this, which looks a whole lot more like a CV. Uh, but just for fun, and because we want to learn a little, a little bit more, uh, let's do some ex extra, you know, tinkering with this. Let's do a little more with that. Um, now, just as a reminder, the main good, you know, the main package for modifying different kinds of uh, section headings is TitleSec, specifically the title format command. You give it what kind of, um, you know, divider you want to modify. In this case, section. Uh, you give it a kind of formatting you want the text to be in, a kind of number, the distance between the number and the title, and then what whatever comes right after that space before the title. And you can also feed it optional arguments like here I have a title rule uh, giving me this line here. Uh, but let's let's go a little further uh, and let's look at this. What what else do I want to modify? Uh, you'll notice that there is a bunch of space between my sub subsections, and maybe I want to squeeze that out. So in addition to the title format command, there's also a title spacing command. Uh, and title spacing is pretty easy. Uh, you just give it whatever kind of section you want to modify, in this case, sub subsection. Uh, and it takes three arguments. Uh, and they're all numbers. I'll just make them all zero right now. Um, so you will notice that all of the sub subsections suddenly, suddenly squeeze up. Again, let me show you that happening. Uh, you can delete them. Um, yeah, okay, there we go. You can delete them, uh, and when they reappear, uh, you'll see them nice and squished up. So what are these three different arguments? Uh, it's pretty simple. The first one is just the left margin. So if I increase that by a couple units, uh, you see it moving uh, to the right. Um, the other two, uh, the second one is the space before uh, the um, whatever uh, section it is. So now we have a little space between them. Maybe I want that a little smaller. I'll say... Um, you know, 0.25 or something like that. And the last one is the space afterwards. Um, so in, yeah, so you'll see it add a little space afterwards. So you'll notice in the case of sub subsections, uh, because I have the run in command, which again, makes it so we don't uh, make a new line after the sub subsection title. Um, this extra space is added as horizontal space, it, you know, makes more space here. But if let's say we have the same um, the same thing for a section instead of a subsection, or uh, excuse me, a, a sub sub. Oh, it's getting confusing. So many sections and so many S's. Um, let's say we have the same command, but for um, subsections. If we increase this third one, you won't be adding um, horizontal space. You'll be adding vertical space. So now we have a bunch of space here, but you know we don't want that. That's ugly. Uh, or maybe you like it. Whatever. So just know the main two commands, again, title format and title spacing. If you know this, you can do uh, most of that. So let's see, what else do I want to change? Uh, I'd sort of like for these subsection headings, like workflow, languages, multimedia, I'd sort of want for them to be a little bit more prominent. Uh, and one of the ways I can do that is by making them stick out uh, leftward or something like that. Or maybe, maybe I'll squeeze the rest of the text in and I want this to hang out a little to the left just so you can see them easily when you're uh, observing the page. Uh, let's see, there are, there are a couple ways I can do that. Now, first off, as a reminder, one of the most basic commands is H space or V space, and that just stands for horizontal or vertical space. Um, so let's say, let's go to my subsection uh, area. And remember this bullet, that is the little dot here. Um, now I can also add an H space command and let's say I'll add, you know, uh, one inch or something like that. And that'll add an extra inch of space, uh, sort of moving it inwards. But I want the opposite of that. But the nice thing about LaTeX, uh, or I guess that was 0.1 inch, but whatever. Um, the nice thing about LaTeX is that you can really just feed it negative numbers and it'll do exactly what you want. Uh, so let's feed it negative point, or let's see, let's feed it negative half an inch. Oh, that's too much. Maybe negative a quarter of an inch, something like that. All right, that's all right. Uh, but now I'll squeeze everything else in. And the way I can do that is just by going up to margin, right, and making my margin a little bigger. So let's just uh, add the same amount here. 
So now everything else is squeezed in, and the sub-subsections are actually the same place they were at the beginning. They're just a little bit more prominent now. Uh, and plus, you know, your margins are a little thinner, so it looks like you got more stuff on your resume, so I guess that's good. Um, so now I think things are looking pretty good. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Um, now there are a couple other things you might want to, uh, you know, consider. One of them is frames. These, these are nice looking. Um, so I told you, like, run and you can give optional commands to, uh, you know, the title format command. One of my favorite is uh, frame. So I'll just throw that in there. And you'll notice that um, it's not loading. Oh, there's a reason for that. Okay, hold on. Uh, let me change some things. So one of, one of the things I did is I put all the formatting stuff in this first argument. Uh, sometimes it's better to put them in the fourth. Remember, the fourth argument modifies only the title while the first modifies everything. So it gets a little confused if you don't have a number or something. So let me, I'm going to move these down and then I'll, um, uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to move this to there. Yeah, still looks the same. That's good. Uh, and now I'm going to add frame here. It just gets a little, ah, there we go. Okay. So now we have a frame around this. That looks pretty nice. Well, actually it looks a little ugly with this line. I'm going to get rid of the title rule. Um, what else do I want? I sort of want, um, yeah, now that I got that done, maybe I'll add a little space here. Remember the space is just going to, um, you know, go, it's just the distance between the title and everything around it. So functionally it's giving this frame more space. Uh, and I think I sort of also want to have this thing uh, centered. That would probably be nice. Um, so let me go. Um, it's probably best to put it here. Uh, fill center. Actually, some, sometimes one of the things you got to be careful about is um, you have to have a particular order you put um, some of the formatting commands in. So, oops. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so if I put full center, fill center at the end, it gets a little confused. Uh, it's better to put more general stuff at the beginning. Um, so yeah, this is what we got right now. And, uh, th you know, I think this is a pretty good stopping point for now. I might do a little bit more later, uh, but this is just to give you an idea of some of the, the more basic commands. Uh, I'm actually going to do another little video on LaTeX soon. Um, but uh, yeah, I think this is enough to give you a good idea. And the next you know, the next diving board for anyone is just actually reading the manual. Look at the documentation for the title set command or other, um, or package or for other packages. And you'll learn so much just, you know, with what kind of stuff you can do. But hopefully this is enough to give you sort of, uh, to see the magic you can do taking sort of this nasty content and just modifying it with uh, a couple, uh, just a few commands, you can become pretty powerful in LaTeX. So yeah, that's some LaTeX magic for you.